What is up, everybody? Finally, finally, I have somebody to put Holy Circle on. I am talking about Lily, of course. She is stuck at level 80. <laughs> this is going on day two of trying to grind out any of her mats to actually take her to that level 100 threshold. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I'm probably in... I don't know, I probably burned about 500 Lapis last night, um, just running those levels over and over. Um, geez, I really wish they would let us go into the Alchemy Lab and uh, put some of these materials together and maybe get some foreign light, because uh, it's just not happening for me, right? <laughs> and if I recall correctly, Lily not only needs... She needs, uh, where is it? What's this called? She needs foreign light, which is hard enough to get on its own. But wait, she also needs visionary light. Foreign light and visionary light. As you can see, I have zero of both of them. We're going to see how it goes today. We're going to see how it goes today. Um, with the luck that I've been having, hopefully... I can grind out one today. I mean, I only have 872 Lapis right now. And like I said, I probably burned about 500 of it last night. Just running that level over and over again. Um, I'm even falling behind in the catacombs. Um, and to no avail, because I've made no progress so far. Uh, as far as getting any of those mats are concerned. Let's actually take a look at how far we have to go in this event. Um, I did finish the gun. Right, I finished the gun. Um, you know this uh, this five star Jelly King hat. Um, it might not seem like that important of an item, but the fact that it gives you such a high percentage defense, you know, auto cast boost. Uh, this can be very useful for certain tank builds. Um, so I'm definitely going to try. Well, I am going to finish this thing. Right, it's it's at level you know 23. Uh, so it's given me a little bit of wiggle room in what I want to do. Um, and I mean, it's not like I have much of a choice. If I want to get Lily to level 100 and actually do anything with her, I got to grind these mats out. And it has been brutal. It has been brutal. Uh, we do have the gear upgrade field up. So, um, you know, guys run that, get your stuff out of it. Level up some of the equipment that you're using, right? Uh, this is something that they've recently added. Um, and obviously, I'm, I'm running the skill study dungeon just to teach Lily everything that I can. Can't really run her in the super training gate because she's just stuck at that level 80 threshold. I think that's something uh, that we never really talked about. We might have rainbow potions that'll take your character all the way to level 100. But you're still going to need that character's limit break field um, items and those still seem to be impossible to get um, if there's another source if they're dropping somewhere somebody please <laughs> leave me a comment and let me know but to my knowledge uh, this is the only way to get them let's just run one of them just just for the schnitz and giggle we'll bring another rogue with us we will run the whole rogue party uh, by the way for the event Lily is great, even though she's only level 80, because if you if you encounter the King Jelly, um, what Lily can do is get a 200 combo lickety split. Uh, all you have to do is save up her skills uh, until the very last wave where the Jelly King is. Uh, and then you cast one of her high hit combo dark spells. And when that dark spell starts going and you start kind of getting um, a combo up, just start dropping Lily's S1. And it's funny because my Lily, she can charge up four of the S1s. And all the other abilities, she can only have like one or two at a time. Uh, but just off of that S1 and one of her dark spells, you're easily getting to a 100 hit combo. Right? And that's just off of her skill kit and one of her spells that she casts. Plus you got a couple rogues in the background putting in some work, getting in a few extra hits. Uh, and then obviously what I do is I drop an arc. So, uh, if you can bring somebody with a UR arc, because that's an instant 100 combo. Now, I'm, I'm being told that um, you max out at a 
hit combo. You're not going to get any more bonus after you hit that 200 mark. Um, well, the Dragon Arc is going to give you a 100 hit combo automatically. So all you have to do is get to 100, which is fairly easy when you have Lily casting a spell and dropping her skills. You get to almost 100, something like that, and then you drop a UR Arc and you're, you're at that 200% and you're going to get all the drops that you can get. So, um, pretty straightforward. I dig it though, it's something different. It's a different kind of event. We haven't had something like this, right? We've had farming events where we're just trying to farm stuff and get as many drops as possible. But this seems to be a farming event where you can actually take advantage of your rogue party. So that's been cool. Uh, even though Lily is level 80, she's still been rocking it for me. And actually, I think the most embarrassing run I had is I fought two of the Golden Jelly Queens back to back, and actually one of them got to run away. One of them got to run away, and it was my fault. I wasn't casting spells with Lily. I was trying to save up her skill kit and charge her all up for the next fight because I thought it was going to be the Jelly King. And I got the Jelly Queen to like 10% health, and the bitch ran away. Oh man, it still haunts me. It still haunts my dreams. So, um, it's definitely cool because this is letting us take, you know, like a combo character with our farming characters, try to get more drops, so it's something different. I gotta give them props for that. This isn't the same old, uh, oh man, otherworldly matter. How did I know I was gonna get a bunch of this stuff? I got 81 of them, and 62 of these crystals. So this is how it's been looking over here been pretty effing brutal and each of these cost each of these runs is like four orbs oh yeah it is four. Oh man i really wish they would uh cut the cost down because we have to run this level so many times just to get one of these items to drop charging four orbs a run is pretty effing brutal i mean i mean really if we could get that down to three or two um people would still have a hard time getting all of these uh, materials so Adis that's something that you know we might have to do in the future maybe cut the cost down on this to like two um, so yeah, the other thing about running this event right now and bringing a lily okay you pretty much have to let your rogues auto farm okay because as soon as you switch over to one of them to start trying to bust some sweet combo to get some drops Lily's going to cast Shining Zock, and she's going to wipe the screen. So, I mean, if you are bringing a Lily or some sort of caster with you to farm the jelly, you're going to have to control that caster the whole time. I mean, I've even been caught slipping myself, I ain't going to lie. Um, I switched over to Zox and thought I could get some backstabs in real quick. Uh, no, Lily started casting Shining Zock, and there was just there was no chance. Um, and she instantly clears the map when she does that. Uh, the technique I was using was uh, I would actually give Lily some distraction chicken. What I would do is I would uh, I'd bring a, a, a useless spell, some kind of break or something, and I would tell her to start casting that. And while she was casting that, I would switch over to you know a different character <laughs> and try to you know score some combos or some backstabs or whatever that character is trying to do. It worked for the most part until Lily just doesn't want to listen to you um, and she's going to like cast Shining Zock anyway and just destroy everything. So that has happened a couple of times. But I got to say, overall, I think it's been worth it running Lily um, instead of my Robin and just taking Zox and Shinobi uh, to farm the jellies, uh, the little ones. It's worked out pretty well for me. Um, just getting the higher tier items to drop, just getting one of those little angel tier things to drop, um, you know, that's, that's almost, that's a couple hundred of that currency, I'm sure, right, because, uh, yeah, there, there's three kinds of them, oh man, that, jeez, that was not the Robin to bring, he destroyed that lich, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, 3,000 attack Robin, farming, this is how it goes. <laughs> the Lich goes down in two hits. That sucks. I would have liked to have, you know, actually maybe farmed a chest from him. Let's see. But all we need is one, right? All it takes is that one, and unfortunately, it's all a bunch of otherworldly matter. So, I'm just about out of orbs here. I'm going to go in there, run the event a little bit, but... 
So this is just what I've been doing. Wanted to let you guys know what's been going on over here. Just a bunch of grinding for materials to level Lily up. And, you know, trying to clear out this event. Level these items up. All right, and we're just about out of orbs. And I don't know if I want to start dipping into my lapis right now. So, just wanted to check in with all of you. Let you know how the grind is going over in Last Claudia. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I did work. I did work on my arc game a little bit. Obviously... We have to level up the UR arc. This thing is at level 8. Uh, this is as high as I could take it. And of course you have to get it to level 10 to get the two best abilities. Light Mega Boost and Dark Mega Boost. Um, you know, anybody that <clears throat> pulled this arc and didn't get Lily. Uh, if you have the old version of Lily, this is still going to power her up so much. Um, she's just going to be devastating with light mega boost uh, especially if you have her accessory that reduces light resistance when she crits um, you're gonna throw light mega boost on her um, light magic damage plus 30 percent right and an extra 2,000 to the cap yeah it's 11 SC but it's just perfect for Lily right and obviously you're gonna choose which one of these you're gonna bring only a madman would bring both of them together I don't know maybe it all depends on the fight right Maybe you need holy damage for the first half and you need dark damage for the second half of the fight. Then you can sacrifice 22 SC to bring both of these abilities. But I would pretty much just run one of these at a time. They are super potent. They are on this arc right now. So best of luck to everybody. And I would have to say if you got the UR arc, you win. <laughs> you win. You don't need to break the bank for Lily. Um, do as I say, not as I do. I did have to get Lily. Uh, she is one of my favorite original Last Claudia characters. I've always liked Lily. She's wicked. Um, and her new sprite is just that effing amazing. Um, but if you actually compare Lily and Lily 2.0, there's not going to be that huge of a difference. The, there, there's just not. They're both going to do a ton of damage. They're both going to fundamentally work the same way. Um, in fact, Lily 1.0 might be a little bit more tanky. She has a better come back to life ability. I have to overlook all of this, and I'm sure you can get a little bit more damage out of Lily 2.0. Um, or else what would be the point of remaking the character? But all in all, I think if you have this UR arc, it doesn't matter if you're rocking OG Lily or Lily 2.0. It's not going to matter. She's going to crank out so much damage. At that point, just go with whichever sprite you like. Um, and for me, that is the new Lily. I just, I dig those wings. I don't know how she flies with them since the feathers are made out of arms. But they are some of the coolest, creepy-ass wings I've seen in a while. So, that's what your boy had to do. And now we are just going to grind right on into Christmas. And we're going to have to see what Last Claudia has in store for us. You know, right off the top of my head, I'm guessing another UR arc. <laughs> and maybe some sort of Christmas character. I don't know. Can we get a can we get a Christmas blood rose? Can we? Can we get can we have a vampire Christmas? That would be cool, last Claudia. That would be cool. So uh, you guys got any ideas on what Ada should do for Christmas? Leave me a comment, let me know. Let's talk about this. Uh, I got a few ideas that Adis could do. Uh, maybe it's finally time to let us grind out one of these UR arcs that are so damn impossible to get. Or am I getting ahead of myself? I don't know, guys. You let me know. Leave me a comment. And as always, have an awesome day. Peace, everybody.